Hello. Right, this is a guy who earns a dulcimer, which is intended to be a vlog slash channel about a mediocre guitarist, which is me, learning the dulcimer, which there's a lot of good dulcimer instructional videos on YouTube, which is not what I'm doing because I'm an absolute novice. This arrived in the mail today. This is actually the first time I've ever touched a dulcimer. This one that I got today. Because I live in Scotland and there's not a lot of them about. But I've fallen in love with the sound from hearing people like uh, Joni Mitchell and Bert Janish play them. And then I started looking them up on YouTube and discovered the amazing players that are on the go with Dulcimer today, like Stephen Seafert and Arna Rourke. And I decided I need a Dulcimer. So, this. Is I'm expanding, which is a good one. I paid more than I would normally pay for a first instrument, but by virtue of me being in Scotland, there aren't shops I can walk in and try a few dulcimers and see what suits me. So for from feeling about the internet, this seems to be the make that is guaranteed quality. Not the only make. There's other good ones, but. I knew if I was getting a uh, dulcimer to get an expadding, and it's good. So I got it from a place called Rebels Music, uh, which seems to be the place in the UK. I think it's one of the businesses It's like one guy turning his passion, love, into a small business. So even if you don't end up buying from there, the website makes really good reading because he goes over every dulcimer and what it sounds like and what the, the pros and cons of each one are. So you can pick up a lot of it from on there. The other place I learned a lot was uh, was a Facebook group called Discovering Dulcimers, which is fantastic. I've posted a few noob questions in there on my road to getting a dulcimer, and everyone was super helpful, and it led me to this decision, which does sound really nice. But, like I said, this is day one of me owning one. I've been playing about this for a few hours while watching the TV. So what I was going to do... Film me today, having a little go on it, and then maybe make another video in a week or a month and see how I've come on. And the vlog will kind of cover somebody who is a mediocre guitarist becoming a dulcimer player. So far today, I'm just playing with it. Not tried to learn anything, I'm just feeling it out. Learning what is the safe frets and what isn't for. If you get an old fashioned dulcimer, every fret is safe, but this has got an extra couple of frets on it, which will make it easier for a guitarist because it's got better access to certain chords and the, the pentatonic scale. And any other mediocre guitarist, no, you can't be separated from that. So. This channel has zero subscribers at the moment, so if you say anything or comment, you're almost guaranteed a response. But I think we like it, it sounds lovely. I just have to learn to have my hand to go this way instead of that way. That's the weirdest thing, because it's the, the workload's the other end of your fingers when you're coming from being a guitarist. When you're a guitar, you're there, and it's that's locked, and this finger's doing the work. Yeah, it's the kind of all right end. It's 
That's about it is. The way they were originally intended to play it was... It's just this string here and the others can add to a chord. So you can just pick about lines along that string and play it all. And strum the whole thing and that... It's music. But there's people now who have taken it a lot further and doing all the, the fingery bits and all the bits. Which is what I'd like to aim for eventually. But... There's a whole world to explore. I'm not sure what kind of dulcimer player I'm going to end up being because, as I say, this is day one. But I'll keep at it and get back to you in a bit, and you can see what I've learned. And if you're a guitarist thinking about getting one of these, you can see how I do and decide if it's a good idea or not. Uh, okay. Bye for now.